Hey guys, welcome back to Car Sound Security. Today we've got Mercedes E Class. If you don't know your cars, we'll show you a picture. Can you turn it around, please, in man? And it is a convertible, all right, guys? Okay, so we've used the beast of audio systems at the moment. It's it's a next generation, honestly, guys. No, no joke about it. Yeah. You've got the Audison the 8.9 bit, which is a Forza the Daddy. It's a eight channel amp with a sub output with a built-in DSP. Phenomenal product, honestly, you can't go wrong. Okay, this is the size of the actual door speakers, Mercedes. Look at that crap. It's crap, look at that. Yeah. What we've done, we've added the Millet Legend um, ML700.3 in there. All right, look at these crappy tweeters. Nonsense. Oh, look, it looks nice though. It's got the Mercedes sign. Piece of crap. Okay, for the tweeters we replace them obviously with the Millet Legend the ML280.3. Okay, phenomenal, phenomenal um, speakers and tweeters. Um, because of the size that you've got, these are the only ones you can really use that's out there. Ideally, I would love to use all the Savoches, but the magnet's just too big and you'll have a slight issue with that. Okay, now you've got obviously the crappy Mercedes floor sub, subwoofer. Okay, it's actually a six and a half inch mid driver to be honest. Um, and on the other side, hello, empty, nothing in there, all right? So what we've done, we've actually got special molds, okay, from Audison UK, okay, so you get an eight inch mold, and what happens, you actually put an eight inch mid-range, um, to be honest, it's not a mid-range, it's actually a subwoofer speaker, guys, it hits so deep, you'll be so surprised, providing you know how to tune, okay? I've got a friend that does the tuning, and his name starts with L, okay? So, what we've done on this one as well, to get that bottom end, okay, my mate, that, his name starts with an L, he's tuned it to only hit the low notes, okay? So, it's got an Audison Active Sub in there, okay? If you have a look at this driver's door as well, okay? As you can see, everything looks stealth. Everything's done behind the scenes. If you ever sell the car, you can put all the original stuff back. Also, the kick wells, okay? They go on both sides. I know the factory, the tight gets Mercedes only give you one on one side, okay, on the passenger side, but you actually have the tooling and the molding on this side as well, on the driver's side, guys. So don't be afraid, rip that carpet out, okay? What we've done here, okay, you've got the DRC controller, so the customer has full capability of switching off subs, fading it to front, rear, left, right, how he wants it if he's got passengers, and everything is done on the factory system. Remember, guys, you can't change this, so don't try doing it. Okay. This is not a DIY job, this is why we're here, okay? So have a listen to this. And on request, we can play classical music, guys, yeah? But just remember with this system, okay, the Forza is not a DIY product. You need to get a specialist, ideally obviously me, or my mate that starts with an L. He's better than me, but I'll dump tell him that. Please, his head will that. Yeah? Alright, so guys, give us a shout on also a wait 554 triple five four. Let's take that Mercedes crap out and let's put it in some proper stuff. Or email us at info at carsoundsecurity.com Or alternatively, you know what? Check out our stuff on Instagram. Hashtag at carsoundsecurity. Give us a shout out, guys. Thanks for watching.